Hey everybody! Uh, welcome to a little indie horror game called Leah. Um, yeah, link for download will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, it looked pretty promising, but apparently the developers have abandoned it. So this is like as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, so let's just let's just go. Here, jingly keys. Got a nice little Instagram filter on there. <laughs> Leah, we had to go out and pick up a few last minute things. Feel free to head upstairs to your room. Love, Mom. Uh, P.S. Sorry, the television isn't working. What the fuck, Mom? As you can tell, this is a Unity game. Uh, the, uh, mouse sensitivity is fucking nuts. If I, like, barely nudge it, it, like, goes nuts. I grabbed a key. Didn't mean to. It's a very, like, dark and depressing house. With the same picture of this guy. Look at this guy. Uh, here's a little note on the fridge. Don't open, please. Well. Oh. Guess I can't. So, am I just snooping around the house? I know they wanted me to go straight upstairs. Leah's birthday is on Thursday the 9th of November 2006. That's weird. Why is it set in 2006? Nope. I'll check that later. <laughs> Wait, is this my room? Uh, is there an inventory system? Nope. Okay. So I guess I need to find the key to my room. It is, I'm assuming like 9.35 in the evening. All right, let's see what's wrong with the TV. That's awesome. So I wonder what the deal with the, the blackness around the edge of the screen. I wonder what that's all about. It's a very interesting design choice for the game. Also, it is super dark. Little bunny rabbit. Oh, yes. Uh, if a tree falls in, the, in a forest and no one hears it, or no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Is that supposed to be a spooky saying? <laughs> it was written in like the, in the style of like the one of the Slender Man notes. Remember this? Nope. <laughs> awesome. Is that an alien? Oh, the door's open. What's this? A uh, teen dies after jumping from I-90 Bridge, Chamberlain. Hello? Who's knock knock knocking? It'd be weird to have a bedroom with a window that faces out towards the entry hallway of the house rather than an actual like outside view. Ah, cool, I can hold a candle. I'd rather have that flashlight though. I just snooping through my parents' stuff or what? Hmm. 
What? The stairs go down now. How does... This flashlight is semi-useless. It is incredibly dark. I'm gonna have to adjust this in editing a lot. Yeah, just got some barrels stored down here in the basement, like a typical family does. This bear is kind of glowy. I'll check that out in a second. I bet that's gonna trigger something. The fuck are you? Has claws or something. Like crouch. Uh, the bridge builder. The builder lifted lifted his old gray head. Good friend. In the path I have come, he said. Uh, there followed after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been as naught to me, to that fair-handed youth may a pitfall be. He, too, must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building the bridge for him. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Check out this spooky bear. Death of a salesman. Some have the courage to live, others have the courage to die. I want to live, of course. Like, why? Hey, buddy. Wanna hug me? Thanks. Alright, uh. Keep hearing it. whispering and breaking of glasses. This flashlight is fucking useless. I should have brought the candle. I wonder if that would illuminate in front of me a little bit better. Read any of these? Alright, I guess I need to figure out where that crashing, breaking sound came from. I'd actually like to leave the basement. And why is there a table with dishes in the basement? Alright, uh... I guess I'm gonna head back upstairs now. Or farther downstairs. This is really cool. It is also really fucking dark. So in the, in the settings for the game, when you launch a Unity thing, it rings up this little window. Uh, and usually on the graphics you can set like, good, great, fantastic, best, or something like that. So in this it was like, not very scary, somewhat scary, uh, spooky, then like spooktastic. I picked spooktax, spooktastic. Who's that guy again? All right, I'm taking the candle. Let's see, what's this? Uh, bird suicide in Jatinga, India. A village in India's northeastern state of Assam is holding a two-day festival next month to mark the uh, century... Cent centenary? I don't know what that word is. Centenary? Of a bizarre phenomenon of flocks of birds committing suicide. Uh, a century after villagers of Jatinga first witnessed groups of dying, dying birds <laughs> uh, dropping down the ground from great heights. This strange behavior still remains a mystery with experts clueless about its explanation. The town of Jatinga is a nightmare for birds and big, and big puzzle for the bird boy. 
Late one autumn night. Why is that highlighted? Uh, late, late one autumn night. A young queen stood by her window, gazing upon the silent and deserted meadows gleaming in the moonlight. Suddenly, far, far up in the sky, she heard the weird cry of birds flying southward. And lifting her eyes, the queen beheld a bird, bird after bird, fly across the golden shield of the moon. Oh, lovely happy birds, she said, said she. Uh, would that I might have a son with wings? Now that it, now it came to pass that before the harvest moon rose over the land, the queen became the. I'm sorry, I'm getting all dry mouth. Uh, became, became the mother of a little boy who, who was born with wings on his shoulders. But instead of being pleased with so strange and wonderful little son, the king, who was very superstitious and under domination of a wicked chamber, chamberlain named. Alfiso uh, took it into his head that his wife was a sorceress and gave orders that she should be imprisoned in a lonely tower and the child destroyed. Uh, so if you want to read all this, then feel free to pause it. I'm not going to read all of it. I'll read little segments. Uh, the chief jailer came to the queen's room to take the child and kill him. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the poor queen beat open the rotted fastening of an old casement window, sprang from the ledge, and giving one last look of love and tenderness to her unhappy child, leaped down into the sea, uh, surging and pounding the rocks hundreds of feet below. Ocean had taken pity on her and changed her into a great gray bird. This is super long. Wait, there's a little... Weird. Is that why there's bird cages in here? All right, so I can't tell which is better, the flashlight or the candle. I think the candle, or I think the flashlight. So they both seem to illuminate the same amount, but at least this one is direct and doesn't flicker. There's the same fucking picture of the guy. Is this the developer? <laughs> Does he like himself that much? He puts himself in the game like that? I like how they did the drawers. I like that I have to click on each one. Turn that off. Thank you. This is a cozy little room. I like it. Same fucking picture. <laughs> December 3rd. It's been about a month since Oliver passed, and I still can't help but feel like it was my fault. I had been so immersed in my studies that I neglected to attend any of my son's performances, or even spend any time with him at all. I let my work become my life, and some part of me feels like this is sort of a catalyst for my son's suicide. My wife has certainly been under a lot of stress lately as well. And it feels like she was the only one who understood Oliver. Is that Oliver? I know that Katie's taking this all quite well, and I just hope that Lee is too young to understand what's happened. So I just realized there's a hand right here. With a piece of grass. So there's more to the picture, or they photoshopped him out. One of the two. Whatever. Man, you, like whenever I'm walking around in dark rooms like this, I can't really tell there's that filter around, but as soon as I walk out in this room, it's just like, bam! Check out this spooky Instagram filter. Oliver went with me to the park one day, or today. I wish he would play with me more, but he only read. Oliver never talks to me, and he only plays with his friends from the theater. From the theater? <laughs> I can't wait until I am older and I can show him how many friends I have. Mom said that Oliver won't come home anymore. Mom is crying, and I don't know why. I hope I see him soon. 
Mom said that Oliver is in a new home in the sky. Maybe he is flying with the birds. Oliver visits me all the time now, and he always plays with me. Oliver is the best brother ever. Hi. Are you a bird? All right. Leah. That's that spells. Or ale. Or eyal. What's up, eyal? I like that. This game has some really awesome ideas. I like it. Oh, they're having a tea party! How fucking cute! Yeah. I like how interactive this game is. Like, they actually put took time to, like, animate a lot of this stuff. If only they would have animated some light sources. Can I have a drink? So I don't think I'm in the house- oh, lantern? Ah. I don't think I'm in the house anymore. I think this is like some other dimension or something. Leah's been calling more often than usual just to talk about random things. It was enjoyable at first, but now I can clearly tell that she is upset about something. She has been talking about family a lot, saying how important they are. She repeated several times that Oliver did not want to be forgotten. That really stuck with me. During a conversation today, Leah brought up Oliver multiple times, asking me what he was like and then asking about his death. It was all quite strange because I don't see... I don't see how she could so hold memories of him when I hardly remember him. This is the third day in a row that Leah has called. Today Leah told me that she can still see Oliver. She called and said that Oliver was with her right then and he wanted to talk to me. I hung up because, to be honest, she was freaking me out. Uh, later today, though, she called back and acted as though no one of, or none of that, sorry, this is sloppy handwriting, uh, none of that had ever happened. I think that spending a few days with mom and dad will help her, and if it makes her stop calling me about our dead brother, I'm all about it, or I'm all for it. Leah... Mm. Leah has been missing for more than a week now. And all, of, and all of the interest she had in Oliver and his suicide has me worried. I just don't want to lose my sister. Jump scare? Hey, it's a birthday cake. I love it. We're having a party. It's a birthday party. It's your birthday, darling. And we love you. <laughs> I was not expecting that, especially while seeing your bright eyes. We love you very, very, very much. That's uh, at the bottom of everything by Bright Eyes. It's one of my favorite songs of theirs. That got me good because this game isn't been all jump scary yet. It lulled me into a false sense of security. Good thing I had this fucking flashlight that can aim two feet in front of me. Stop it! Why are you on the walls? Get off the walls! <laughs> well, this don't make no sense. I'm glad to see I can still get spooked, even though, like, these giant lights are on. I thought maybe that might take me out of the immersion, but I'm actually, like, pretty... 
I'm pretty impressed with this game. Like, I'm all about it. It's a shame the developers abandoned the game. Maybe they're working on something else. Oh yeah, I can sprint. I don't really feel like sprinting though. It's... It feels basically the same as walking. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, for a Unity game, this is... I'm pretty impressed. I really hope they're working on something else too. Hopefully they just like quit making games, because this is really good. Like for a free Unity game, this is... This is good. It's not like that, uh... What was it? The PT ripoff I played? Oh, that was terrible. That was so bad. God, this is a long ass staircase though. I wish I could just jump off and break my legs. And it is super dark. I wonder if the other settings wouldn't be as dark. Maybe I'll test that out whenever I'm done. Alright, almost there. So close. Alright, was anything back here? Some uh, neatly stacked chairs on top of a table. That's nice. It's like they're uh, closing a restaurant or something. <clears throat> I want the ticket stub. I can't take it. All right. Ooh. This has to be Oliver. Like, that has to be what they're doing with this picture everywhere. I wonder if the main developer is, if his name's Oliver. This feels like the end. Leah and Oliver. Hello? Great. Great. It's really dark. Thank <clears throat> Come in. <laughs> now we can play together forever. So, was this game about suicide? Like Leah killed herself? I'm trying to figure out what the meaning was. But anyways, that was Leah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. I thought for a Unity game, this was very good. I hope the developers actually do something else. Uh, they don't just give up, because that was good. I liked it. It was atmospheric. It was interesting. Uh, not too many jump scares. Only two, I think. Yeah, I liked it. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.